Hello, my name is John Capobianco, and I thought to build onto the multi agent system, we already have a netbox agent, and we have two agents for routers and two agents for switches, five agents in total, with a parent agent, let's call it the main agent, the root of the tree, that does the routing, just like routing of traffic based on Nextop or other attributes. We're going to route to different agents. So this has worked great so far. Why don't we add an email capability? Let's add an email agent. So that way we can ask things like, do the descriptions match from my netbox to my running config? And could you please email a report to so-and-so, right? Add email as an agent. And I've been able to do this. Now, I'm still waiting for the inbound emails. It looks like they've sent. I have the logs to prove that they've been sent off into cyberspace. I'm still waiting for them to be received inbound. I've sent them to a couple of email addresses to try to get them through. But let's just take a look at this. And maybe it will help your understanding about agents a little more, right? A netbox agent, a router agent, these are very domain specific to network automation and network engineering and the world of computer networks, but everyone knows what email is. What if we could get an agent involved based on our natural language prompt to send emails with reports and data from the network and from the netbox and from a combination of the two? Let's give it a go. Okay, the first place I've started with is the demo.netbox.dev environment, and I've created a site with the four devices each device has their interfaces, and their interfaces either have IP addresses or VLAN tags. All right, so I've gone ahead and mocked up this environment. And on router one, I've just put in bad description on a couple of interfaces, but I haven't done anything else yet. We're going to start with descriptions. We're just going to start with something pretty simple. Now, to prove that this all worked, right, here's my prompt. Does the description on r1 eth 0 match the intended description in netbox can you email pccapo at gmail.com a report please all right now i'm going to show you the logs and it enters the executor chain and to determine this i'm going to retrieve the current description from router one and then compare it with the description stored in netbox after that i will email the report so it goes ahead and calls the R1 agent with the command it needs to run. This actually runs the tool. And here I'm connected to router one. And you can see that we have bad description on the interface. It goes ahead and makes the API calls to netbox. You can see the call here to netbox R1 ETH 0 to get the JSON payload of its description. It makes a couple more calls to do its reasoning, and then it prepares and sends the email to me. Now it's actually gonna explain the chain of thought here and all the data that it has. And here's the email that it's sent, the body and everything, right? And I've done this a few times and we can see that it's always worked. It's always sent the email successfully to the different emails and it's done that different chain of reasoning. Here's one that I really like. I need to perform the following steps. One, retrieve the current description on router one for ethernet zero zero. Two, retrieve the intended description for that interface from netbox. Three, compare the description. Four, prepare a report on the comparison and email it to this email address. All right, so I'm gonna hit send Okay, before I do that, actually, I've gone into my mail queue, and here are the logs, by the way. So you can see that the mail queue was empty, and then the mail queue had this email to that Gmail address. So I know that the agent has actually created and sent an email. Now, whether or not it makes it through email's filter because it's from this local domain weird address, I don't know if it's going to make it through. However, it did send it, and there are no mail in my queue, right? So 
Let's watch this in action. We're going to send the same question and jump back into the logs. We're going to see the chain of thought happen here. Right here. I need to get the config. It's actually connected to the device and running the command here right now. And then it's going to move on and make the call to NetBox right now. You can see the calls to NetBox. And now it's going to create the email calling my new email tool agent. There we go. Preparing email, email sent successfully. Now, I don't know if we're fast enough here to see it in the mail queue, but I believe it did send it. Now, I'll check my email in a little bit and see if I've received these emails. Um, but what we can do is, let's go into Excaladraw, and I'm going to show you this before we look at the code. Okay? So, in Excaladraw, and you can see here, The description does not match the intended description. An email report has been sent to that email address. So that's what we get through the natural language now. And just to draw it up real quick, right? So I already had um, two router agents, two switch agents, and the NetBox API. Okay, so I don't want to label everything here, but... Um, this was the net box. This is a router. This is a router. This is a switch. This is a switch. What we've just added today is a new agent for email. All right, now all of these agents connect back to a main agent. And that is what the user interface is with. Right? User asks questions, user gives commands, user gives the instruction, the prompt. The main agent decides whether or not we need NetBox, router one, router two, switch one, switch two. And now, email. So how is this done? I didn't touch any of these existing agents. Now I think the temptation here, and I'm gonna say this is a wrong approach, is to add the email capability to each of these tools individually. That is an approach. What I decided to do instead was to build an email agent, add it to the main agent, and then, you know, let these agents do their thing and craft the email and send it. So let's take a look at the code. It's not much code. So I made a little post fix config uh, file here to specify to use IPv4 because my Docker desktop doesn't do v6. And also instead of using port 25 to use 587, that seemed to help get the email through. My main agent, I've added a couple things. Let's start from the top here where we've added it. Um, from my email agent, I'm importing the send email tool. Okay. And then I'm going to define the email function here. Define email tool. Add it to my master tools. And that was really all I had to do for the main agent to incorporate a new agent. Again, modular, Lego blocks like you want a new agent, snap it in. And that's exactly what I did. Now my email agent code is not much. It's 62 lines of Python. It's just a structured Python script on how to use, um, you know, what to do to send an email. We're relying on postfix. And in my Docker file, I've added mail utils and postfix to my Docker environment. All right, so these are things that you have to app get to install into the Ubuntu environment. 
to give it email capabilities. We make an agent file.py, 65 lines of code. We incorporate it into our tool list in our main agent. All right, so let's bring up the logs and let's ask the question. Well, we've already done that. So I'll check my email and um, hopefully I get an email soon. I'll let you know. But we've incorporated email into our multi-domain agent system. Once I do get an email, I'm going to play with the prompts a little bit more and ask it some more sophisticated type questions. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so just for transparency, everything worked. All of that was working. My outbound um, SMTP needed to be connected to a Google app. So now I have the Google app key. Let's do it together uh, again. And I'm going to show you just how incredible this is. Not much of the code has changed. We're still using an agent. I have my own SMTP server agent now, and we're going to send emails. Check it out. So again, just a couple changes. In my Docker Compose, I'm actually bringing up my own SMTP server here now. And that SMTP server sort of looks like this. And um, I need to get the relay username and password from my environment variable. All right, so this is just a quick little SMTP. The Docker file is pretty simple. And that's all we're doing here. Let's bring the server up. Okay, so everything came up. We have our SMTP server up and we have our local host up. We're going to refresh here and ask it, do my descriptions on Ethernet 00, zero match the intended descriptions in Netbox? Can you email pzcapo at gmail.com? A report, please. Send. So let's quickly go into the logs and let's crank the zoom up so you can see them a little better. And we can see the chain of thought happening here. So check this out. Check it out. One, retrieve the current description from Etho1 on router 1. Two, retrieve intended description for Etho1 from Netbox. Three, compare the two descriptions. Four, prepare a report based on the comparison and send it via email. So it knows the command to one run on the correct device, router one. Here's the PyETS code and we have bad description. It then makes the API call here to Netbox to get the JSON. It does its comparisons and now it has sent me an email. Now where is the email here already? The email is here. Dear user, the current description for R1 Ethernet 00 is bad description which does not match the intended description downlink to switch one etho2 as per netbox please take the necessary actions to update the description best regards network automation system so let's do something else let's try this could you please check all of the configured ip addresses descriptions VLAN assignments. Let's just do the IP addresses and descriptions on router one and router two and send a comprehensive report to John Capobianco at ptcapo at gmail.com with your analysis of the current state and the intended state from netbox okay you watch me type it you watch me hit send we're going to watch here to fulfill this request right there is the reasoning and thinking it's going to call the router one agent and then it's going to call right so it should call hopefully router 2's agent or maybe back to router 1 to get some more information a different command let's see let's see how long this takes and what it does to get the information for router 1 and router 2 
as well as the information from NetBox. So we're now we're on router 2, which is a good sign. We've moved on to router 2, and it's getting the IP addresses it looks like first, and then it's probably going to try and get the descriptions. And then it should go to the net box a couple of times to get the source of truth information. Let's see what happens here. Should be going to the net box. There's the net box call. So we made a couple of calls to net box. few more calls, gathering all the information it needs from the source of truth and from the devices, and hopefully next sending a comprehensive report and its analysis to me via email. Okay, so there's the SMTP server. Let's go check the email. Okay, so, <laughs> dear John Cavalbianco, please find this comprehensive report on the current state of routers one and router two, along with the intended state from NetBox where available. Current state for R1, current state for R2, intended state analysis, Pretty cool, right? R2's current configuration matches the intended IP address, but lacks the descriptions for ETH01 and 01. Should be updated to match the intended state. So it's pretty good, it's pretty good. The whole point was to get, e again, tack on a new agent that has a very special functionality, in this case, sending emails. That's all it needs to do. The LLM is going to connect the dots with my router agent and my other agents, and they're all going to come together as this nice symphony of tools interacting with each other. You can see that it's sending me emails now with real network state and real analysis and real comparisons from the real data it's gathered. There's no retrieval augmented generation. There's no vector stores or vector databases or embeddings. This is purely agentic making API calls and now sending emails Pythonically. Stay tuned for more. I thought this was really fun. This is really exciting stuff.